Hello, welcome to your 22nd C++ lesson, and this one is on get and set functions. Basically, they're really simple functions that go inside your class which can get and set variables. So, let's just create a basic program, iostream for c in, c out, and this one, which I'm not sure how to pronounce, is for get or get character, standard namespace, and in our main function, we're going to pause the program and end. So let's just create our class. So class class one, and we're going to have our public section named public, and our private section. I don't know why I said name public. By the way, I didn't mean name public. You know what I meant. I meant the public bit. So. In our private bit, we're going to create a variable called number. Again, I'm making amazingly imaginative names. Um, so, we're going to have our set function first. So, int set, um, actually, no, sorry, void set, because we don't want it to have to return anything. So, we're going to make a void set, and it's going to take an integer, which it's going to call x. And then, all we're going to do is we're going to set variable to x. Sorry, not variable. What am I on about? We're going to set number, which is the variable, to x. So this variable here is now going to be, whenever you call the set function with a number, it's going to set this variable to that number. And that's what a set function is. And our other type of function is a get function. So which, this is going to be an int, int get. And basically, what it's going to do is it's going to return number. Now, if you don't know what return means, it basically means when you call it, it gives you this number. So if we were going to see out the get function, it would output the variable, which is basically what we're going to do now. So class one, which is the class object, so we on. So we've created our object. Now we're just going to say object dot set fifteen, and then we're going to see out object dot get. So hopefully what this should do is because we've set number to 15 in this set function, it should get 15 using the get function. So let's just debug this. 15, there we go. Obviously there are tons of different uses for this. If you're going to make a bigger program, you can then have many set and get functions for different purposes. You don't have to name them set and get. I've literally just done that for the purposes of this video, so you know which one's the set function which one's the get function. But basically, they're just generalized types of functions. And they're really useful in all types of different scenarios. When you want to set variables and get variables, surprisingly enough. Obviously, we could also create a second object if we wanted. Class 1, object 2. And we could say object.set15, object2.set10. And if we wanted, we can then see out object and then object dot get then we can end the line we can say object two and then object two dot get oops no semicolon needed there We don't need these semicolons here. Sorry, my bad. I'm too used to doing functions of semicolons at the end. Um, and hopefully that should output 15, then 10. Object 15, object 2, 10. There we go. So, so many different uses. Um, so, yep, that's pretty much it for this lesson. Uh, it's really simple and it can be used in a variety of situations. So, have fun with it. Use it in your own little projects and have a nice day.